Hi, I'm Dan from jazzcomposerspresent.com, an online space where composers, musicians, and listeners come together to celebrate the music we love. I'm joined today by Meg Okura, jazz violinist, composer, and leader of the Pan-Asian Chamber Jazz Ensemble. Meg is here to show us how to create suspense in your compositions. Thank you so much for having me on the show. And hello, jazz composers. Uh, today, I'd like to share a segment of my composition titled A Frasia, written for a big band and a violin. And I love surprises when I listen to music. And in this piece, I wanted to create suspense by staggering the entrance of each voice to build a groove and then giving the audience the satisfaction of finding the groove later on. Um, this happens at the beginning of the piece's main part, right after the introduction. Um, let's listen to this segment without the score first. So the groove became quite obvious after a while, but how was I able to trick your super well-trained ears into not hearing the exact meter at the beginning of this section? So here's an example of a notation that you may have heard mistakenly. When the bass line came in, I realized how I was initially hearing the groove was wrong because the bass part held the critical information to orient the music. Had I introduced the bass line first and then added the other parts, you know, all of us would have gotten the groove right the first time. But I intended to confuse you all. So I started by introducing the part that begins neither on the first beat nor on the beat at all. So um, let's listen to the same example, but this time with the uh, cor correct orientation. Naturally, we only start hearing the music the moment we hear the first audible sound. So we can't really hear rest without a reference point. So when you start a piece with rest, you may be able to trick your listeners into hearing something that will eventually be proven wrong. And that's fun and surprising. So let's listen to the piece again performed by the BMI New York Jazz Orchestra, this time with the score.
So this is how I trick the listener's ears by displacing the rhythm and not revealing the downbeat for a while. If you find this trick interesting, I would love to be tricked by your competition. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thanks for watching today's mini lesson. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Drop any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos in the comment section down below. To watch our full length events and participate in live Q and A's with our presenting artists, head over to jazzcomposerspresent.com. Thanks and we'll see you next time.